I'm Joanne Molinaro, the Korean vegan. Fun fact about me, I've run five marathons, I'm training for my sixth, and I've done it all while on a plant-based diet. Join me in this exclusive lesson to learn how to turn your hobby into a full-time career. Before we can go from hobby to hustle, we need to evaluate whether the hobby is hustleable. Can your passion turn into a successful income generating business? As a lawyer, I've represented some of the largest companies in the world in multi-billion dollar cases. From that, I've learned that the secret to a successful business isn't really a secret at all. It's what we all learned in Econ 101, supply and demand. Presumably, if you're taking this class, you have some evidence of supply, the ability to create the product or service that you want to monetize. In my case, that was Korean vegan recipes and storytelling. But before you make your dreams real, you need to get real. Are you actually good at your hobby? Or are you like that person on American Idol whose friends are horrible and don't tell them, bro, singing is not your thing? Assuming there's demand for your product or services, we'll talk about that next, you don't need to be the best at what you do in order to monetize, though that certainly helps. You do need to be better than many, and you also need to be smart about how you distribute, hence this class. So ask yourself, Ask your friends, ask your family, are you actually any good at your hobby? Let's assume you can answer the above question with yes, I am good. Let's turn to the trickier part of the formula, demand. Creating demand is hard. Filling demand is easier. Don't create a product, then seek someone to sell it to. Find a market, define your customers, then find or develop a product for them. It's a quote by Timothy Ferris, author of The 4-Hour Workweek. I think a lot of people do what Tim Ferris talks about in this quote. We dive into what we want to do and then, after the fact, wonder if there is a way to sell it. And here's the thing. For hobbies, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that approach because at the end of the day, hobbies are not necessarily income generators. In fact, for the overwhelming majority of people, Hobbies are just things that help you cope with the parts of your income generating jobs. That's one of the reasons I decided to start a blog, to take my mind off the soul sucking nature of a legal profession. But if you want to turn your hobby into a money maker, you need to be able to answer the question, what problem am I trying to solve? For me, it was the lack of any veganized Korean recipes. Andy Grove, the co-founder of Intel once said, the internet doesn't change everything. It doesn't change supply and demand. Maybe, but it does change our access, right? We now have more data at our fingertips about the supply demand curve than ever before. So I want you to go onto the internet and I want you to research the following. Is anyone else doing what you want to do? For example, before I started my blog, I went onto the internet and I googled Korean vegan food and discovered that there was only one English-speaking person who sometimes made videos on Korean vegan food. That was it. Another thing I want you to look into, are there any articles, surveys, or studies on the popularity of what you want to do? For example, I recently saw an article discussing the recent boom in Korean food here in the United States. Number three, are there any businesses out there that tried and failed to do what you want to do? For example, the overwhelming majority of cookbook authors failed to sell more than a thousand books, but I didn't see any failures or quite frankly successes of Korean vegan cookbooks. Now, after doing some research, ask yourself whether there exists demand for your hobby and, if not, whether you can create demand for your hobby or tweak your hobby to meet an existing demand. For today's assignment, put pen to paper or finger to keyboard and write out one paragraph about your dream. It should include the following. One, when someone asks me, what do you do? I would like to be able to answer blank. I want you to fill in that blank. Number two, add at least two to three sentences describing very specifically what goes into that answer. Number three, 
Identify at least three reasons why you think you can monetize your hobby. Discuss the competitive landscape, specific market trends, how you can set yourself apart from existing suppliers. And number four, come up with a pros and cons list. What do you have going for your dream? And what will some of the challenges be? One of the biggest stumbling blocks to your success is none other than you. This class, it won't mean diddly squat unless you eviscerate that voice in your head that's telling you you're only good enough for just fine. I know, you can't just wake up, roll out of bed and say, hey, imposter syndrome is gone. But here's what you can do in the meantime. Imagine yourself to be that person. What does that person look like? What do they wear? How do they talk to their colleagues, their friends, and their spouses? What would they tell themselves in the mirror the moment the voice, you don't deserve this, starts knocking around in their head? Wouldn't it be fun if for the rest of this class you pretended you were that person? And that's the great thing. No one's here to judge you. No one will look at you and think you're being weird or cocky or annoying. This is your chance to experiment with being the non-imposter syndrome, you. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. This is actually just one part of my class on Skillshare about turning your passion into a thriving career. Join me in the full class to learn how to turn your hobby into a hustle and become a full-time entrepreneur step by step. Click on the link below. I can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.